Imagine the worst pain you've ever been in. Maybe you broke your arm or you had a migraine. How did it feel? Did it feel like this? This would be normal. I know you do. <laughs> Even if it's a year. You tolerated this for a long time. You even tried to wait it out till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. People like Marcus, who have sickle cell disease, often experience pain crises like this. Pain comes in many forms, and another kind of pain comes from bullying. Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever bullied someone else? Did it look like this? I mean, it's I, have, I don't want to wash one because I have IP. She I have sickle cell. I'm, I'm trying to learn. I have sickle cell. You have sickle cell? Yes. Sick. Okay. Eight. 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 Being in pain or being bullied are neither fun nor fair. Most of the time, the only reason people mistreat others because of a disease or disability is because they do not understand it. They judge without knowing the whole story and situation. This is the case for those who live with sickle cell disease. I have sickle cell and I love, you know, helping out my mom, helping out the family, you know. I have sickle cell disease and I love, like, taking care of myself. Like, it helps me to stop, like, doing so much and helps me to, like, you know, take care of myself and take care of my health, like, much better than if, like, I didn't have it because I'd just be, like, go over and stuff like that. I have sickle cell and I love the fact that I come out stronger. I come out with more ambition to strive, to still do me, to still find positivity even when I have a lot of negative situations. I, stri I, I just like the fact that I can still love myself in spite of it all and look back from where I came from to where I am now. Sickle cell disease is not contagious. It is an inherited disease of the blood where your normal red round cells are starved of oxygen and turn into a C-shape and become sticky and block blood flow to your tissues. When that occurs, the individual with sickle cell disease starts to experience pain. Can you imagine having a disease that affects every major organ system? Like your brain, where you can experience a stroke. Your eyes, where you can have potential blindness. Your heart, where you may suffer a heart attack. Your kidneys, where you could potentially end up on dialysis. Your liver, where the sickling may cause scarring. And your spleen, which you may have to have surgically removed. People ask me what sickle cell is. I don't just be like, get a definition like that you would get off the internet or something. I just say, I use common things. So like, I know that cancer, like, Pretty much everybody knows about cancer, mm -hmm. and pretty much everybody knows about arthritis. It's like somebody old or somebody they know has it. So I explained it as having arthritis and cancer mixed together. Mm -hmm. I use cancer because it spreads. Like when I have crisis, it's not always if it starts in my arm, it doesn't just end in my arm. It spreads like my back, my legs, and that's how cancer does. I say arthritis because we still have pain. And it deals with our joints, arthritis deals with your joints and your bones, mm -hmm. and so the sickle cell. So I use it and say I have a disease like cancer and arthritis mixed together. I got it from my um my parents, and it's not no something that you can it's nothing you can catch, but it's a blood type disease, and you still can't get it if you touch my blood or anything. It just help. It just makes me feel different and inside, like other than you. You probably have regular blood cells. I probably have a little different. It's okay that I'm natural and I'm different. When people hear the word disease, they are often afraid that they can catch it. Students that have sickle cell disease talk about how differently other students have treated them because they have a disease. It doesn't matter what kind of a disease it is, people make assumptions. Uh, at school, a lot of people say, you don't look like you have sickle cell. Like, what does somebody look like? They have six. You know, that's like people say you don't look like a virgin or you don't look like you play sports. You like, what do somebody who does have to look like? You know, but yeah, I I know I get that a lot. Like, I don't really look. It's because like I, I really haven't had went through the part where I have had strokes or many like hip replacements and stuff like that. I've had about five surgeries. 
Sickle cell disease affects many populations outside of the United States. Populations that have sickle cell disease live in Africa, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and Central and South America. The country with the most number of people with sickle cell disease is India. In Nigeria, about 50% of the people are affected by the sickle cell gene. Sickle cell disease is very common in sub-Saharan Africa, including the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But sickle cell disease also affects Italians, Greeks, Saudi Arabians, Turks, Brazilians, Palestinians, and Israelis to name a few. Sickle cell disease originated in places with high rates of an infectious disease called malaria. Malaria has been around for thousands of years, is transmitted to human beings through mosquito bites, and remains a serious health threat in many areas of the world today, including Africa, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and Central and South America. The malaria parasite needs healthy red blood cells in order to survive. Over time, there were changes in the genetic makeup of human populations in response to malaria. This relates to sickle cell disease because people with sickle cell trait are less likely to die if they get infected with malaria. This explains why the sickle cell trait is common among people from malarial regions of the world. When two people with sickle cell trait have a child, they have a 25% chance with every pregnancy of having a child with sickle cell disease. This risk may seem small, but according to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, sickle cell disease currently affects 90,000 to 100,000 Americans. In the U.S., the majority of people affected by sickle cell disease are African Americans. In fact, one out of every 12 African Americans carry the sickle cell trait. But other groups are also affected, including Native Americans, Asians, Hispanics, and whites. As an example, if we have a classroom with 12 African American students, there will be one student that carries the sickle cell trait. In a classroom of 24 African American students, two will carry the sickle cell trait. If there are four classes of 24 kids, then eight kids will have sickle cell trait. If there are four classes at every grade level, then 32 kids have the sickle cell trait. How many kids are in your school? How many would you estimate will carry the sickle cell trait? This is why it is important to get tested and know your status. It's important to be educated about sickle cell disease. Those who suffer from sickle cell disease lead stressful lives that bullying will only make worse. Bullying is unwanted aggressive behavior among school aged children and involves real and perceived power imbalance and the behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Both kids who are bullied and kids that bully others may have serious lasting problems. I mean bullying is not something everybody should have to go through. I feel that like if you're a human being and you're put on this earth, you're, you're put on this earth for a reason. No matter how you look, what, how you talk, what you have. I mean, I've been bullied and it's just been like, why are you doing this to me? It's like, oh, I used to go to the washroom a lot because I have sickle cell. So I asked to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, oh, you're pregnant. Because that's what pregnant ladies do. They always go to the bathroom. And it's more like, um, no, I'm not pregnant. You know, it's one thing to be bullied and you have somebody to advocate for you. But then it's another thing for you to be bullied and you have nobody but yourself. Bullying can take on many forms and is a terrible experience for those being tormented. It can be the super smart kid, the tall kid, the short kid, the overweight kid, those who are of different racial or religious backgrounds, just about anyone who doesn't fit in in a moment. Anyone can be a victim of bullying and harassment. Children with disabilities are especially vulnerable to bullying because their medical or mental condition makes them an easy target. For example, students with sickle cell disease are targeted for bullying for many reasons. They tend to be smaller than their peers. They may have yellowing in the whites of their eyes. They may have suffered from a stroke which may affect the way that they talk or walk. Some are mocked teased or isolated because they miss so much school because they are frequently in the hospital. 
Because students with sickle cell disease often miss school or need special accommodations, they may have an individualized education plan or an IEP that documents what their special needs might be. Students with sickle cell disease need to drink a lot of water because they can dehydrate easily and most likely carry a water bottle. Because their kidneys function differently, they have to take frequent bathroom breaks. Students with sickle cell disease cannot always participate fully in physical activities like gym class. While it appears that students with sickle cell disease are being treated differently by carrying water bottles or using the elevator or doing less activity in gym classes, there is a very good reason for having these accommodations in place in order for them to deal with this invisible disease. If a student with sickle cell disease does not drink water, go to the bathroom, or overexerts themselves, they can end up in the hospital with a pain crisis. Stress, especially from bullying, only makes this health situation worse. Again, anytime someone appears different, bullying can happen. Have you ever made fun of someone with yellowing eyes? Have you made fun of someone who has to go to the restroom often? Have you made fun of someone for being sick and missing days or weeks of school at a time? Just think, you may have bullied someone with sickle cell disease. One of the major most troubling symptoms of sickle cell disease is pain. Other symptoms of sickle cell disease besides pain are frequent bathroom and water breaks and not being able to be physically active for long periods of time. What you mean you can't do it? Well, one day when I was in the gym, everybody was mad at me because I got to sit down and they had to run like 10 laps around the gym. When I was bullied when I was at school, that was when I was in third grade. And then I asked the teacher one day, can I go to the washroom? So when I asked the teacher, can I go to the bathroom? He told me no twice. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to walk out the classroom. And, then he, and I was like, I got to use the bed. So I got mad and frustrated. I'm like, I'm going to walk out again. And that's when he like, you can walk out, you get suspended. I'm like, I got an IEP. You need to look at my IEP. So when he was like, you look at your IEP, I was like, okay. And he's like, why, why you want to look at the IEP? I said, because I have sickle cell disease. And then he was like, oh, I didn't know that. And I'm like, if y'all look at my IEP when we have a meeting, y'all understand. And then that's when he's like, okay, you can go to the washroom. Then the girl started making fun of me, bullying me, constantly. ah, she got a disease, such, such, this and that. And I'm like, and I looked at her and I explained to her and I broke it down to her what it was. And then she was like, oh, I didn't know that. And then she was feeling bad for me. And then that's why I'm like, next time, y'all need to know before y'all even go out and say what y'all want to say about other people. Y'all don't know nothing about me. And that's when the girl was like, oh, I'm, I apologize. She was like, oh, I didn't know that. And she's like, because one of my family members got it. I'm like, oh, okay. Then that's when she was like, that's um, that's Versa. That's Versa. She's like, that is so sad. She's like, because one of my family members passed from me. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, it's a lot of people that's passing from me. And then that's she was like, oh, okay. Then that's when like, I ain't never knew that. And I told her what it was, and we started clicking, and she wasn't bullying me no more. And that was it. I did the right thing by walking away and, you know, first talking to her about it. And then, I, you know, we started clicking. After the class was over with, I walked away. And I feel like I was a better person instead of going off as the person I usually be, like cussing them out and stuff. But I didn't do that. I took the time out, you know, to let her explain her side of the story and not explain my side. And I left it at that. But if you think about it, I'm just like everybody else. It's just I can skate and run and jump and do cheerleading just like everybody else. It's just I have a certain tolerance. It's like after the tolerance level, when I can't do it, then I can't do it. But it's for people to understand I'm still human. I'm still normal. I'm not no different. It's important to know your sickle cell status and your partner's status before you get into a serious relationship. It's not the end of the world to have a child with sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait, but it is a devastating disease with many complications. Okay, deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> Breathe, hold my hand. Breathe, Breathe. According to a 2012 report by the National Association of School Psychologists, in the United States, about 160,000 children miss school every day for fear of being bullied. Now that you know something more about sickle cell disease, who it affects, and how it impacts lives, we hope you will take a step back and think before you speak or react about someone who is different. Ways you can help and support people with sickle cell disease is to reach out to them and be kind and patient if they're having a bad day. 
You can hold fundraisers at your school to help sickle cell disease research and educate your friends, family, and community about the disease to increase awareness. Another way you can help advocate for those with sickle cell disease is by donating blood. Many people with sickle cell disease get blood transfusions, so donating blood will help them greatly. For more information on sickle cell disease, please visit the National Institutes of Health website at www.nih.gov and type in the keyword sickle cell. You may not think you're bullying someone, but if you have ever laughed at a student with sickle cell disease for having yellow eyes or being too skinny or not being able to participate in physical activities, you may think you're just teasing, but to someone with sickle cell disease, you are a bully. Be kind, be considerate, be educated. I would tell them they shouldn't bully nobody that has sickle cell because they don't know, they don't want, they wouldn't want to get bullied if they had sickle cell. You would think that because I'm a bad person because I have sickle cell, I'm actually a fun person when I have sickle cell because I feel like I don't want people thinking and looking at me at the wrong way. Like, oh, she got sickle cell, she just getting favors, his and all that. I don't want people thinking of me as that person. I want people thinking of me as a regular, regular person like them and gets a better knowing me instead of judging me the wrong way. I think that's the best way to go for people instead of judging them based off what you heard or based off what you thought. That's the best way to go. Well, I feel that some, they don't understand me because how I, I have success and they don't know my body and what, what I go through. So if they do talk about me, it really don't make me a difference because they don't know how I feel and what I go through. They just know what it's called and they think it's bad that I have it, but I don't think so. I think I would say like find something else to put your time and energy into because I mean it's like bullying people is not going to get you anywhere in life it's just going to you know bring you on like a bad path and downhill it's, it's not going to bring you any success or really happiness in your life so find something that you really love to do and focus your energy on that. Oh and I love you know playing rope with my sister and them. I love spending time with them. I love my mom. I love cooking, helping her cook, clean up, and you know, just being there for her. And that's it.